For this section, we are going to find out the domain. Okay, let's go to page 393, section 6.1. Okay. Let's look at number four in your book. So here we have function f of x is equal to x minus 3. So here, okay, we are going to set the denominator equal to 0. So we're going to take the denominator x minus 3 equal to 0. Then we are going to solve for x. Okay, so let's get rid of the negative 3. So plus 3, plus 3. So x is equal to 3. So here to find out the solution, okay, so your x, so here that means x is a real number. Then x cannot equal to 3. So to find out the interval notation, okay, interval notation will be negative infinity 3 union then 3 to a positive infinity, then that's the answer. Okay, next. Number 8 in your book. Here we have f of x is equal to 9x plus 8 over x. We are still finding out domain, okay? So first one, again, we're going to set the denominator equal to 0. So this was very easy. x is equal to, to 0, and that's it. So the for the notation, you have x. x is a real number. But x cannot equal to, a, equal to 0. So here for the interval notation will be a negative infinity 0 union. 0, then positive infinity. Number 10. Over here we have f of x equal to 2x plus 4 over 3x squared plus 11x minus 42. So again, we're going to find out the domain. We're going to set the denominator 3x squared plus 11x minus 42 equal to 0. So this part right here, okay, is kind of like chapter 5. In chapter 5, we're going to factor the trinomial. So to factor this, okay, we have x plus 6, 3x plus 7. I'm sorry, 3x minus 7. 3x minus 7. Then after that, we're going to set the number in each parenthesis equal to 0. Then we're going to solve for x. So here I have x equal to negative 6, 3x equal to 7, then x equal to 7 over 3. Okay, so my x is a real number, but x cannot equal to negative 6 and 7 over 3. The interval notation for this will be negative infinity, negative 6, union, negative 6, 7 over 3, union, then 7 over 3 to positive infinity. Okay, last one, number 12. Here we have function of x is equal to x minus 9 over 26. Again, we are setting the denominator equal to 0, so 26 equal to 0. But we are solving for x since there's no x, so you can go ahead and just write a solution. So here, since there's no x, so is what well, you can be what r is a real number. And that's it. Okay. Then for the interval notation, will be negative infinity, neg negative infinity, and positive infinity. And that's it. And that's the answer.